Oh, very good evening. So in the last session, <coughs> we uh, have seen the Halpert equation. So the Halpert equation uh, that will give a general relationship between the yield stress and grain size of the material. I mean, how the grain size of the material that depends upon the yield stress value of the material. If we know whether that the yield stress is a, an important parameter in determining the plastic deformation characteristics of a material. So this is the expression sigma y is equal to sigma O plus Ky by root D, where D is the average grain sign the grain diameter and sigma O and Ky are the constants for a particular material. And we have also uh, so you may have to please note that the Halpert equation, which is not valid for a both very large grain and also for extremely fine grain, that is in between um, grain size, the Halpert equation works. For it is not valid for both very large, that is coarse grain, as well as extremely fine grain crystal polycrystalline materials. Now what is shown below is a yield strength that depends dependence on grain size for a brass alloy. You can see that this is a grain size which is taken on the x-axis and this is yield strength and as the grain size diameter increases which means the grains becomes more coarse you can see that the yield strength value decreases and as the grain size decreases you can see that the yield strength value increases. So this aspect which we have discussed previously, how the uh, controlling, how to control, by controlling the grain size value, um, how the grain size can be controlled using different uh, methods we have already seen. So the grain size may be regulated by the weight of solidification. So if it is a faster cooling you are going to do what would be the grain size definitely that would be a uh, coarse grain you will get and if you are going to do a slow cooling you will get a fine grain size and also the grain size may be regulated by some uh, thermomechanical treatments so and you may please note that the grain size reduction I mean if the material become fine grained, it not only improves the strength value but also increases the toughness of many alloys. Now this is a uh, simple problem using Halpert equation. So let me read down the question first. The yield strength of mild steel with an average grain size of 0 0.05 mm is 138 MPa. The yield strength of the same steel with the grain size of 0 0.007 mm is 276 MPa. And what will be the average grain size of the same steel with a yield stress of 207 MPa? Assume Halpert equation is valid. And we know the Halpert equation, isn't it? The yield stress is equal to uh, sigma 0 plus Ky dip by root D. D is the average grain diameter and let's proceed like this we know that for a grain size of 0 0.05 mm the yield strength is 135 138 mpa so i can write the half equation 138 is equal to sigma o plus ky by root 0 0.05 and for grain size of 0 0.007 mm the yield strength is 276 mpa so i can write using half equation 276 is equal to sigma o plus ky by root 0 0.007. If I solve the equation A and B, I will get the value for Ky and sigma O, the constants I got. Now, I can rewrite the Halpert equation as sigma Y is equal to sigma O value I have, 18.43 is the Ky value divided by root D. So from this expression, for an yield stress of 207 MPa, I need to find out the value of D. By substituting 207 here, I will get the 
grain size as 0.015 mm thank you